first fish from a new water, camel. Which is my first fish from uh, Hampshire altogether. Cracking looking fish, put up a decent scrap. Look at the size of that tail. Absolute cracker. It's a 32 pounder from the Hampshire water I've been fishing. Nice, uh, nice fish, just went off just into dawn, just as the sun was coming up. Cracking looking fish. Well pleased with that. Well, this is a 36 pound common. First one of uh, three fish in the night. In fact, I got this as a double take. It literally went a second after the uh, after the 39. I'm going to fetch out in a minute. So, cracking looking common. Went 30, 36 pound on the nose. So, really happy. Angry car. You just feel I'm tensing, can't you? Well, this is my biggest fish of the session. 39.14. Just won't quite go 40. Dale's just been saying he had it in the autumn at 42, so it's a little down in weight after the uh, long winter layoff. Had this one part of a double take with the common, which is not the sort of thing you expect on a low stock big pit, so <laughs> really, really surprised me and really pleased to catch it. So it's uh, 4.30s for the session and uh, three in one night, including three bream, so I've had absolutely no sleep whatsoever. So it's, uh, it's, been, a, it's been a hard old struggle fishing here through March and early April when it's been really cold. Now it's starting to pay off. Happy days. <laughs> oh. oh! Oh, I'm in the lake. <laughs> and I'm wet now. <laughs> Lovely. It's worth it for this one. Oh, right, go on, mate. Fair enough. Thank you, man. This is my first fish on Berkshire for the year. It's been pretty tough going, it's took me 11 nights to get it, but uh, things have changed a little bit down here just recently. We can only fish a certain number of swims, so it's made getting on the fish very, very difficult. Half the time, oh, there's a beep. Half the time we've just been watching the fish in other swims and, and out of range, but uh, I was lucky enough to get this one. 33 pound, they put up one hell of a scrap. Hooked it at uh, longish range. It just kept kiting to the right, and uh, I had to give him a bit of hammer to get him around a few obstacles, but uh, as you can see, I got him in the end. Happy days. Well, not the biggest fish in the world, but they're all welcome from Burfield. He weighed in at uh, 22 and a quarter pound. Ripped off at uh, about 3 o'clock this morning, so uh, very, very welcome, and hopefully. I might get a couple more, it's now five in the morning and there's a couple of fish milling around on surface, so uh, we could have a chance or two, but uh, you never know at Burfield, it's a, it's a tricky old place. Let's get you back and see what happens. Oh, here's another Burfield carp. Absolutely tore off this one, did. 
a different spot to the other one. I uh, saw a few fish showing just near a bit of weed. I couldn't find a clear spot out there at all. I wanted to position a bait from the start of the session. I couldn't find anything at all out there, so I just had to uh, put a long running shot in front of them and uh, it was in there about an hour and it ripped off with this. And when, it, when I say ripped off, it absolutely ripped off. I grabbed the spool and you know, the finger went over the line and I burnt my finger on the line. That's how much it, that's how quickly it was taking line. To uh, say so not one of the biggest in the lake, but uh, still it's a Burfield carp. Well, this is the result of two days of searching around Burfield to try and find fish. They're just not showing themselves this year like they have done in previous years, and they've been an absolute nightmare. But uh, after a couple of days of walking around, I managed to find two fish sitting at the bottom of the bay. And after a couple of nights fishing, I managed to get one. £30, two ounces. So, uh, really happy with that. It's normally the other way around, it's normally <laughs> 29 14, but uh, I'm not complaining this time at all. Well, there's a 34 pounder from Burfield, 34 pound 4 ounces, I think it went. My biggest fish from here of the year so far, and uh, things are really starting to come together. I've had uh, four fish in the last couple of sessions, and uh, three of them have been 30s. So I'm, uh, I'm really pleased that things are working out for me as well. From from different areas of the lake, you know, this this one and the last one were from quite long range, whereas the uh, previous other two were literally right under the rod tip. And this is what I love about Burfield, the diversity of the fishing. It's, uh, it's a fantastic place and uh, very interesting. It's got some nice dark old carp in it as well, so uh, happy days. Here we are, second fish of the morning. It's all starting to pay off for me. And from long range. This one weighed in at uh, 31 pound, eight ounces. So, uh, nice little end to the session. Really, really happy with this. I really think that uh, things are starting to happen for me now in Burfield and uh, hopefully I might go on and catch a few more this autumn. And, uh, and this is just the first of many, but uh, we shall see, we shall see. <laughs>